Good morning and welcome to your Farm at Home show. My name is Joanna Coles. And I'm Christy Shy. And so we have a few nutritious recipes to demonstrate as we celebrate Dairy Month. I'm going to be making an orange banana frosty, Joanna, and it's very simple. It just uh, calls for a half cup of orange juice, a half cup of plain yogurt, and then one frozen banana. So you are probably going to need a blender for this to um, blend up that that frozen banana. Now, typically in smoothies or frozen drinks, we see ice added, but for this, we're gonna see that frozen banana kind of act as the ice. And a lot of times those smoothies or slushies, they have a lot of sugar in it, but this doesn't have a whole lot of added sugar. That's right, so we're gonna get some sweetness from the orange juice as well as the banana. So now, Joanna, we are just going to blend this up. Christy, so that was really fast to blend that up. It was, and you can see that it's a really nice, um, pretty color. And we are just gonna add this to a cup right here, and I have a fun orange <laughs> straw to really drive home that orange flavor. And as you can see, it makes about a full glass right here. Mm -hmm. And for some fun, Joanna, if you wanna get the kids in the kitchen, you can garnish it with an orange slice and uh, even a slice of banana. So I'm just going to first slice my banana, make another small half cut right there. I'm going to add it to my glass. And Joanna, any time, we can get the kids in the kitchen. We know that they are probably going to be more likely to try whatever you are making. And this is kind of a, a, a double because we get orange juice with all that good vitamin C, as well as our dairy, a little jug of fruit with our banana. So we can feel really good about this. And how refreshing. I think orange, um, it makes me think of like an orange drinkable. Yes. And those were some yes. of my favorites when I was a kid. And there you have just a really cute, fun, refreshing drink um, that you can feel good about knowing that there's some calcium in the dairy. There's many nutrients that dairy provides, um, and we're also getting some extra nutrients from our fruit. All right, well, that's awesome. Now, Joanna, what do you have for us? So this is a crunchy berry parfait. It's really simple, and you probably have those ingredients, and we celebrate the dairy in the yogurt, but also fresh fruit, and strawberries are just kind of winding up their season, and blueberries are coming in, so we can use those fresh products from our farmer's market in this parfait. And so all we do is we take, and I like to use a cookie scoop because I just think it makes it look neater, and we can go ahead and put that in there. It calls for about a half a cup okay. of yogurt, and so if you like a little bit more or a little bit less, you can always kind of customize it to how you like it. And then we want to add some fresh strawberries, and I've just sliced these, and you can kind of put them in, let the kids kind of decorate if they want to, kind of make their own creation, because like I say, they'll normally eat it if they get to create it, and they're really proud of it. And I think kids in the kitchen builds their confidence. It does. And I think it helps. And you have a lot of color there, Joanna, and mm -hmm. we know that we eat with our eyes, so you adding the extra color is going to make it look even more appealing. Yeah, I mean, it makes me want to eat it, right? And so, and then we have some crunchy granola. You can make your own granola, or, or you can buy it at the store, or you can if you have any type of crunchy cereal at home. This just kind of gives it a crunch, okay. but we can feel good about the granola because it has some fiber in it and those type of things to go with our fresh fruit parfait. And you just sprinkle that on top, Christy, and it's super simple and that looks amazing. And you, you buy this big container of yogurt and a lot of times we use it for one recipe and then we put it away. But obviously we can use it in this drink, we can use it in these parfaits, and you can even switch it up, maybe some strawberry yogurt one time. So I don't like to eat the same things over and over again every day. But this will give us an advantage to kind of switch it up and make it to where what your kids like to eat. Now, Joanna, remind me where you got this recipe from. Okay, so both of these recipes are from the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture. So they have been tested. They are nutritious for your family. And it even has the economics behind it. Like it goes by a dollar sign, just kind of like you can see at a restaurant. And so it talks about how expensive or inexpensive these are to make. And these two were pretty inexpensive. So as we celebrate Dairy Month with these two quick nutritious snacks for the summer, we hope you go check out the recipe and try them too. Thanks for watching and have a great day.